Hello, Cancer. How are you? All right, we're going to do a summer energy reading. I've been saying it. I'm going to keep saying it. The summer has a lot of big energy to manifest, to release, to forgive, to heal, to move on, to ascend, whatever. Okay. I don't care what, what phase the moon is in, what sign the sun is in, whether it's day or night, it doesn't matter. There's a lot of powerful energy every day and every night all summer long. Okay. So that being said, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that little like button for me. That helps bump me up in the analog algorithm. I don't know, whatever. Um, if you would like to be entered to win a free personal reading, you're going to want to like, share, subscribe, and comment in the comment section down below. Hashtag summer. All right. I do have a deal going on right now for personal readings. All that information is in the description box below. This is a general reading. Okay. So check those other placements, even though I do feel very strongly it is a four year sun sign. If it doesn't resonate, check those other placements, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Um, if you don't know those placements, there is a link below for cafe astrology. You enter your birth information, date, time, and location, and it will give you all of the information you need. It gives you a free natal chart. Okay. All right. Roles can be reversed. Cross watchers. Welcome. No gender, just energy. You guys know the drill, right? All right, Kansa. What's happening? Let's do it. All right. Bottom of the deck. We have the moon. Well, there you are. There you are saying hello. Okay. Let's, let's do it. Coming into the current energy. We have the queen of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy, the queen of wands could have some fire in your chart. Don't have to summer energy though, with that sunflower though. I like it. All right. Your challenge blockage or obstacle is the eight of pentacles. Something you've been working on could be work, could be money, could be finances, whatever it is. The foundation for the reading. Why is this all happening for you, Cancer? The Six of Cups. Past. A person from the past. Family, love, whatever. The recent past. The Ace of Wands. Passionate new beginning. Feeling passionate about something. Your crowning energy is the world. I love it. Successful completion of karmic cycles, right? Coming into the near future, we have the Ten of Wands. How you see yourself currently, right now, we have the star. Look at that. Beautiful. Aquarius energy. Um, energy that is external to you that you may or may not be aware of. King of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Advice from the universe, four of wands. We've got, we've got some romantic love energy here. Some soulmate energy with this six of cups and the four of wands. Let's find out what we got. And your potential outcome is the eight of wands. Look at that. Could be the arrows of love. Could just be fast forward movement, carrying you where you want to go. Bottom of the deck. We've got the moon. Cancer Pisces energy. All right. Cancer. Let's unpack this. All right. Queen of Wands. What is this Queen of Wands for you, Cancer? I know for me, because I'm a Leo, when I see the Queen of Wands, um, it, it I, I feel like it's me, but I'm a Leo. But it doesn't matter. The Queen of Wands is, I see it, I want it, it's mine. She goes after what she wants. People take note of her. Um, I feel like this, I just feel like, you know, with that sunflower, we've got the summer, you know, it represents summer. What is this Queen of Wands for Cancer? The Six of Swords. I feel like you're going through something, but you're going through it for a reason. Very determined, very ambitious on this journey. Four of Swords. I think maybe things haven't gone super well for you, right? So you're resting and recovering, but you're still moving forward. You still want the things that you want. But I think you also want some peace, honestly. Your challenge, your blockage, your obstacle is this Eight of Pentacles. Could be money. What is this Eight of Pentacles? Something you're working on or something you've been trying to work on. Page of Swords. This could be somebody at your work kind of watching you to see what's going to happen, see where you're going to go. See what's going to take place. 
This could be you um, being very inquisitive about, about your work situation because money is an issue. And the Six of Cups. Cancer, this is... Um, I feel like there is a person here that is working on coming back around to you and they're watching you. That's what I think. They're in this page of swords energy. They're watching you. They are soon to be in this king of swords energy. Making a move. Strategizing. But there's also this, this, I, I do feel like money is an issue for you right now. And I think you're working on that. You may not even see this coming. So the foundation of the reading, we've got the Six of Cups again, right? It's twice now we've got it. What is the Six of Cups for Cancer? The sun. Big, fat Leo energy, okay? You could be getting a person from the past coming back towards you. It's going to make you super happy and it's going to happen in Leo season. I'm telling you. You could, you could be getting married. Jesus. Okay. But balancing out of those karmic scales, it's coming. Finding balance. The recent past, we have the Ace of Wands. What is this Ace of Wands and why is it in the recent past? What is this? Six of Wands. In the past, there was a passionate new beginning. Um that looked successful. Ace of wands, six of wands, six of wands is a card of Leo again, that that necessarily means anything. Queen of swords. You know, there could have been, um, the reality of this, this passionate new beginning that you wanted success with, that you still do want su success with, that you're fighting for. It's your truth. And I feel like it's just been a long time coming. And we've got the six of swords here and the six of wands here. So you're still in that energy of transitioning towards that, working towards that goal, figuring it out. The world is in your crowning energy though. So you're going to successfully complete this cycle and open an open a whole new a whole new cycle, right? What's this world for cancer? The lovers. Again, I feel like there's somebody coming in for you. Card of Gemini with that lovers. But that's big energy that you can't do anything about. Just like this justice, just like this sun. Ace of Wands, there's that passionate new beginning that you wanted success with that you're still manifesting. And here it comes. Ten of Wands, you're at the end of a heavy burdensome cycle, Cancer, right? You're still plugging away, but gosh, it's just weighing on you very, very heavily. Four of Pentacles, you've been, you've been in this energy for a minute. Kind of stuck here. But you're getting ready to release and move forward. Somebody's getting ready to come in or you're going to go after something. But you're going to feel passionate again. You're going to feel that fire in your belly. If this is somebody coming towards you, they have a lot of passion. How you see yourself right now is the star. You're wishing, hoping, dreaming. And I think the universe is going to provide. I really do. Knight of Swords. You're chasing those dreams still. You're continuing to chase those dreams, those desires, wanting what you want in pursuit of what you want. Page of Pentacles. Could be a new job, could be money, whatever it is, you're going after it. But I do think there is a relationship in here somewhere. Energy external to you, King of Swords. You may very well be focused on your money and then boom, all of a sudden somebody comes in that changes everything. All right. King of Swords. This is somebody who um, kind of moves in silence, but they're strategizing. 
They're plotting. They're planning. They're very strategic. Very calculated. King of Swords. This is King of Swords. For Cancer. The Wheel of Fortune. Things are moving in their favor. And if this is the person coming in, they're coming. Good luck. Good fortune. The Eight of Cups. They may be leaving another situation um, go, cut to come towards you. But they're leaving behind everything that doesn't serve them. So they're releasing this season also. This summer season. They're releasing what no longer serves them. Leaving it in the past. Here we have this Four of Wands. Again, I think there is a big relationship here. I also think you're chasing some money. You're, you're, you know, you're waiting on, you know, a new opportunity and you're going to get it if you haven't already. So Four of Wands, again, stability, money, happiness, marriage, the 1111 card. What is this Four of Wands for Cancer? The Eight of Swords. You're not going to see this coming. I feel like you are so bogged down with this money finance chasing whatever opportunity you need because you've not had good luck with that. I think you're going to be um, occupied with that and you're not even going to see this coming. But this is also you feeling very um, like your hands are tied when it comes to your stability. Hey, okay, Priestess. This, this, if this is a person, this is somebody you're not talking to, could be a Pisces, but it doesn't have to be. But the situation here is that they're not talking to you. You don't see them coming, but here they come, right? Here they come. Your outcome is the eight of wands, uh, you know, a sudden burst of energy. Fast movement forward, the arrows of love, communication back and forth, progress, travel, movement forward. Mm getting those wishes down here. You were making all these wishes, right? Your dreams are coming true, baby. Your dreams are coming true. I'm telling you. Your dreams are coming true. They're coming right towards you. Love, money, whatever it is, whatever you've wished for, here it comes. Took long enough, didn't it? Knight of Pentacles took long enough, but we have now we have the sun and the star in the same reading. And we have the star twice. And I love that for you. So here you are, Cancer, facing the unknown, right? Facing the unknown. When here comes some messages, um, could be from a fellow water sign or could just be coming right to you, Cancer, right? You have felt loss without regret, abandonment, out in the cold. Um, somebody is coming towards you. They're leaving a situation that they may have been stuck in for a while and they're coming towards you. This is a missed opportunity that you're not even going to see coming because you're on this journey, right? To heal, to rest, to recuperate. And then bam, here comes this, good Lord, here comes this person right towards you. Okay. So this is a situation where you're real focused on your money and your, your stability. And all of a sudden this relationship comes in, two of cups. And this painful cycle of, of whatever is over, temperance, certainly can be a card of reconciliation, but it's also the universe working in your favor, working behind the scenes to bring things to fruition. Okay, let's get a couple of Oracle cards and see what's up. Okay, this could validate the message. It could be a whole separate message. Not going to resonate for everybody. Take it as it resonates. All right, here we go. Welcome the new. You've got a lot of new coming. I think you've got new job opportunities, new money, new stability, new relationships, right? Relationship dynamics. Something's about to change. Your relationship with your finances is about to change and your relationship, your love relationship is about to change. Get some rest. Well, we see you doing that. You're trying to do that, right? You're trying to rest, recover, recuperate. Seeking and finding. Yeah. You are uh, making some wishes and those, they're about to come true. They are about to come true. All right, Cancer, that's what I got for you. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Um, hashtag summer if you want to be entered to win a free personal reading. I am having a deal on personals. That is in the description box below. And in the meantime, I am wishing you a happy summer and I'm sending you tons of love and light.